So get everybody that you know to get up and go out and look. We're in a very dangerous precipice right now. Right. And, and it's going to take all of us to get out and make that vote. And then we'll see what happens then. You know, I think there will be no board wall going forward. I've been a huge fan of your work since I was a kid and all the animated films, Lion King and, and all this stuff. But then uh, growing up as a teenager, you did the films with Robert Rodriguez, like Once Upon a Time Mexico, Desperado, of course, all the, the stoner comedy films. So um, you have such a broad range of, of work from action to animation and comedy. So my question is, what is your favorite genre? What's your What was your favorite project to do um, out of your whole entire repertoire. Wow, that's a big hard question. Uh, the one I get paid most for. Sometimes not so much. Um, I, I I don't know. You know, animation uh, is what I we were born to do, Tommy and I, because our albums were animation without the animation. It was just voices, and so we had to learn how to create stuff that sounded funny, yeah. that didn't look funny, now we have to do sound funny. And so that really helped me going forward because all of a sudden I got into major animation uh, through Disney. Uh, the first one was Oliver and Company and they came to me and they, they said they wanted me to come and audition for this for this part. And I, I'd never done an animated film and, and, uh, and I went in there, I was supposed to do this chihuahua. <laughs> and I wonder why. Um, and uh, so I went in there, and, I, and all the, everybody was gathered, and I went into the audition, and I said the lines, and blah, blah, blah. And they all said, oh, well, that was very good, thank you very much. And, good and, I, and I got out of the parking lot, and I said, man, that sucked. I, I, that would really suck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and do it again. So I went back into the studio, and, and they were still there, and I said, hey, listen, I, 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 I want to do it again. You know, because I don't, I don't, I give me some direction here. But, and so the George Scribner, who was the director, gave me some direction and said, play this part like you've got your fingers stuck in the socket, the uh, electric socket. I said, gotcha. <laughs> and I went back in and I just gave it my all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could see the whole room changing right at that, that point, you know. And the animators were there and they were drawing me and they were watching me do that. Or something, blah, 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 blah. And so, uh, I left, I said, well, I hope that was better. I said, we'll contact you real soon. And so the next day, they said, and then I was on that, on that film for a year and a half. That's a long time to be doing an animated film, because every time I went in there, I was like, I mean, I, my voice was ragged after, after one session and all the time. But I saw the future, you know, because it was just when Disney was coming back, and they were going to start into the, a big swath of movies that would change the industry. And I was, uh, lucky to be a part of that, you know. But but doing animation is 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 is, is pretty. I, it's close to my heart, you know, because I started off doing uh, uh, vocal things. I made my first record when I was five years old, and okay. so <laughs> that uh, that is part of my life. So I like other stuff, doing that, you know, drama and more comedy. But but animation is really dear to my heart. Mm. Anyway, thank you. Uh,